Welcome to a brand new episode of Driveway Diaries. Today we are over in Uddersfield to see Dave's Transit Connect pickup. Cheers. How are we going? Fine, how yeah. are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Right, so, episode one, <laughs> Driveway Diaries. Yeah. Do you want to show us what you've uh, been and purchased and uh, why you bought it? Yeah, certainly, yeah. Uh, well, I saw this come up for sale. I've seen it about a year ago uh, and put a bid in and got it already sold. And then saw it come up again and then thought, I need a bit of a project now, mine's nearly done. Yeah. Uh, girlfriend wanted something she could come to shows with me and we could both go in a vehicle saw this and thought for money i mean we're just over a grand yeah uh, so i thought yeah get this for a project get her to use it and change it to what she wanted so you can go to shows together on that yeah yeah, yeah. you can go to shows together and she can because it's all right going with other van but you know if she had something she'd feel yeah. a bit more involved and she's also should be able to put a, a mark on it put a stamp on it oh good yeah Good stuff. So um, I know you're having a lot of issues with DVL at the minute. Do you want to just talk, yeah. tell us about that? The guy that originally built it, uh, he basically built it all, finished it all off, took it for an MOT, passed the MOT, and then he decided he'd done what he wanted to do with it and sold it to another guy. Uh, the other guy, it was still MOT'd and everything, so he run it for a bit. But I think he had problems thinking, because it was still there on the logbook as a van, yeah. uh, if he ever had any problems, had a bump or it, anybody, the insurance, it would be a, a get out uh, saying, well, you know, it's still down as a van. Right. So instead of, in my views, he should have contacted the insurance company and just told them it's an hour pickup, sent some pictures or whatever. He wrote to the DVLA thinking that they'd just be able to swap it from a van to a pickup which threw big flags up they basically said no uh you're gonna have to uh, have an iva so that's when he decided then to sell it to the guy that i bought it off which was a higher higher it was like a plant hire company guy right he never actually run it obviously he tried to apply for the log but got the same letter back that i've now got back saying that this vehicle has been modified so it will now have a queue plate they gave me another vin number for it and it has to go for an IVA. Right. Uh, so that's the problems we're having at the moment. But looking into the, all the criteria for IVA, uh, it said if the vehicle's older than 10 year old, yeah. it doesn't need to go for an IVA. So I'm now just in sending emails, etc., just to try and clarify the reasoning why they think it needs an IVA. IVA. Obviously all that's happened is the bodywork, the back bodywork's been cut off, yeah. but I've got build photos of it been All strengthened right. and everything yeah so i can present them and just see if you can because obviously if it doesn't need to go over the iva all they need to do is mot and then we can be up and running yeah because iva is not cheap are they? no it's about 500 and odd plant plus vat yeah so yeah uh, and it ends up on a q plate so which you don't want it on a q plate really no yeah. not really because i mean it's not you, I've, I've looked at the actual iva forms and it's asking what what axles have you put on what engines it got in what back axle is it what chassis have you put on and basically it's had nothing it's completely standard as it was as a, as a 1.8 turbo diesel yeah but it's just had the body modification yeah uh so we'll see how it goes from there right i think i'm just going to run it as it is yeah standards to start with yeah i mean it's got the 1.8 tdi in uh, you can have them mapped. I mean, I think they're about 90 brake or standard. Yeah. But you can get them mapped up to about 120 brake, just with a standard map for about 250 quid. So, I mean, it's girlfriend's car, so whether she wants to do that or not. The other option is run it for with that engine and yeah. then 
basically an ST170 engine's just dropped straight in. Yeah. So that's another option. We could go down that route. Yeah. Uh, Body-wise, it wants there's slight bits where it obviously filler started cracking, etc. So I've had a word with Caroline, and she's thinking about maybe having a full respray, yeah. uh, and she's on about doing it in uh, that brandy wine colour. Oh, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. A lot of American custom cars have, have go for yeah. it, and it's like a like a brownie sort of burgundy. Metallic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, that might be an option, and then obviously try and tidy up the back a bit because it's just got some old. So old look, wood. At, let's have yeah, a look at that. Then. Certainly, yeah. It's just got some old wood in at the moment. That obviously, it's what he did when he did it. Uh, I think the guy who had it before was going to put a stack up the back, so that's why that hole's cut in. Yeah. Whether we go down that route, I don't know. I've also looked about maybe modding, making maybe a roll bar or something. Yeah. Uh, just you know, just something a bit different. Uh, it made that one for his tailgate. I mean, uh, there's there's been a few of these modified, and they've made it kept the original two-piece tailgates, but yeah. he made this into a one-piece. So I'm happy with that. He's put this put this wrap on it with eyes that light up which whether she wants it on or not I don't know I mean it's like all that yeah it's all right I don't think it's bad you know eyes light up when it's when you break uh, that's it basically outside wise I mean I think you flip axle on it because it's lowered yeah so that's been done uh, stance is quite good to be honest uh, it does it, it does sit yeah, quite nice yeah. it's not too low is it no uh, and you know for money that I pay for it you know a respray and, pro and just tart it up interior he's, just, he's put some new seats in he's put some rs2000 seats in which is quite comfortable but there's just there's no carpets inside so that needs doing yeah he hasn't finished off the inside of the bulkhead which i'll probably decide to i'll probably make a panel and then cover it in carpet. alcantara yeah. or yeah. carpet whichever yeah. Yeah. maybe do a bit of sound deadening uh see whether she wants to upgrade into stereo etc and then she'll just run it with me it were it were a nice looking thing I mean I've got all built pictures and it were really tidy and then obviously it's just been neglected because whoever's had it last couple of times wants the MOT run out or he's tried to change the logbook it's just flagged this logbook problem up yeah uh, once we can get get over that which isn't insurmountable yeah if I have to have an IVA I have to have an IVA I just it have is, to bite the bullet it is what it uh, is because if I try and sell it whoever buys it again is going to have the same problem so it's just going to lower the price so really it wants the IVA doing and then you know it's going to be worth a bit more money yeah just want some investment in it doesn't yeah it? And, yeah and but but for you know for what I give for it it's hard work's been done yeah uh, it's like most things if you can buy if you can buy vans or whatever that main bits been done and, and all you're doing is just finishing them off you know I think people run yeah. out of steam don't they, they do, well they get so far and maybe usually it's wiring they yeah. get they get where they get to wiring bit and it all ends up looking a bit tatty or they just you know finishing off bits inside bits of trim yeah. and stuff like that they get so far and then they like to just drive them which is fair enough you know yeah you know you can't you can't knock it for them no yeah. and a lot of people like building them and once they've built them they want to go on to another project so that's the yeah. best time to buy them to me yeah it is yeah. semi-finished or one that just needs finishing off yeah so like you can see just just for people the, these are the original back yeah yeah what, what he's done is cut he's cut the back off moved them forward and and molded them in as you can see the fillers just started going here and there which you know it's a shame yeah yeah, yeah. and it's then what the, he did was yeah. welded the back two doors together and made the bulkhead and then that's a, a full piece of a sheet of steel underneath there yeah. and then there's actually some box section in as well and then all these in all these interior panels they're all thick steel so yeah. it's lot it's lost none of its rigidity in fact it's probably stronger, uh, stronger yeah, yeah yeah and there's just bits where he's made panels that's you know fillers just start at cracking yeah but it's not insurmountable it's you know it's like everything bits of trim just let the thing down yeah but you know you can finish it off can't you can, yeah yeah, a, yeah. Can as you can inside. see inside we've got rs2000 seats which which you know they look quite good i think the nice seats yeah, yeah. and then uh he's put a row he's put a row of gauges in that i've had a look and they, they're not even wired in so to rip them out and, and get another dash i can't see 
I'll probably just get them wired in and get them working. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, get some carpets. Nice. I mean, this, yeah, so as you, you can see, it's just, it's just, it's just put it in and it's not finished off. Yeah. I mean, it might only just want carpeting. Uh, I, I've even thought about putting a window in. Yeah. You know, reinstating sort, sort of some window so it's easier for her when she's reversing. Yeah. Uh, door cards probably uh, might even go electric change windows. it to electric windows. Because all, all, I've looked on forums and it's basically all plugs are there. It's just to swap it for another one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. All the wiring's already in. So just swap it for a, for another panel with yeah. with, uh, with, with gear. Nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just a, just a standard engine. I think he's fitted an induction kit on it. Yeah. But apart from that, it's it's as it is from factory. It is. I've had it. Uh, I've had it plugged into a diagnostic machine because there's an ABS light showing. Yeah. But uh, that's come up as rear, rear near side uh, sensor. Yeah. Uh, with it being drums, it might just be just need cleaning or something. Or worst case scenario, a new ring, which yeah. is you know eighty quid. Yeah. Uh, but that apart from that, there's no there's no other fault showing. Uh, oh, there is. Yeah. Tell a lie. It goes into limp mode. Right, okay. But the mate, my mate of mine's plugged it into the thing and he's saying it could be the fuel pump, it could be an injector. Right. Uh, but until we get it running and take it on a run, yeah. there's more idea of, of it doing a live sort of live data. So Yeah, 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 yeah. So Yeah, yeah, you, you could, you, yeah because there's a bit of work to get it to that point, get the yeah, get the DVLA right. sorted and yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, you can you can get it out on the road then. That's right, yeah. So it only goes into limp mode when you're sort of accelerating or something. So yeah, to get it into limp mode, you can't do it when it's stationary. So no, and it might might just I might even just run it on, get some trait plates and just run it so it, and then do that bit before it goes for MOT. Yeah. Uh, but it's the main thing, just starting out with this DVLA thing first. Yeah. Uh, and then we can take it from there. It's got there's lots of lots of lights on it. Isn't there? Yeah, it's LEDs yeah, it's and fit some LEDs up front and it's fitted a load downside, uh, which. There's only one actually works, but for the price of them, uh, rather than start filling holes up, I'll probably just put them back, put some new ones back in. Yeah. Because, yeah. You know, make it your make own. It just, yeah, just make it look a bit different. Yeah. I mean, I've had people, because they know I always have strange vehicles, I've had people passing saying, oh, what's that transit you've got? You know, what? oh, I see you've got another vehicle. I said, oh, yeah, it's a pro. Oh, it looks nice. It, you know, you don't see many of them. No. Which. You, there were, there's been one on eBay, a blue one. I've seen that. Yeah, uh, but there isn't that many been done, and they always say they look nice, but they always look too big. Why don't you roof chop them? But you start roof chopping them, and then it is a big, it is a big job. Is it? Uh, a, lot of work, uh, a lot of work on a roof. Definitely chop. an IVA. Yeah. Oh yeah, it would be then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because then it's your wind cutting about cutting windscreens down, etc. So. Yeah, I don't even want to contemplate that. I no. think it looks all right as it is, really. Yeah, they you do. know, just for something to for. I a, think if you can get stunts right. Yeah, and just for something for her to drive around in, and you know, it's going to be. She's going to use it as a daily, to be honest. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, she's just using uh, my the other smoker that I've got at the moment, Saab, to run around oh, in. All right. So she's using that for work at the moment, and then once this is done, she'll be uh, using that. Yeah, she'll be using this. Right, so I think we'll wrap it up. Yep, yeah. Right. Are we alright to come and see you next year? Yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. And just updates, we can do updates when we've done yeah. some of so send, uh, yeah. send us them photos you've got of the, the build, build as yeah. well. I will. And we'll, we'll get them out to, sh to show everybody. And if, if, if anybody else has got a, a project like Dave's that's halfway through or nearly finished or you're just starting and you want to be involved with Driveway Diaries, drop us a message and get in touch because I think this is something that's going to be really popular. Yeah, I think it is, and it's, you know, if you've got something you want to show, or something you're building, or anything that you just, you know, you yeah. might want to show on the channel, yeah. give it a go. Yeah, it's easy enough, and he's a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just saying. <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll leave it there. We'll see you later on next year. Yep. And like I said, if, you, if this is anybody that wants to get in touch, you know, drop us a message. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. 
and uh, give us a subscribe because at the minute we've still got 80 percent of views that are non-subscribers so it'd help massively so we'll uh we'll see you in the new year cheers cheers Bye, see man. you later